Hi everybody, welcome to Fashion Link Now platform. As you know me, my name is Anna Vasilievich and I'm a founder and one of the mentors at the Fashion Link Now platform. Uh, today I decided to talk about movies. Um, I think movies are great inspiration um, for the designers, for the stylists, for all fashion professionals and something that we search to learn and also to take inspiration from. So I decided to talk about my favorite movies that I think you should definitely see. And I divided um, this movie theme in the couple of categories since I think uh, this is the way you should watch it or divide it or research. So today I will be talking I'm talking about future movies and uh, in some other videos I will be talking about documentaries, my recommendations for the docu documentaries when it comes to the fashion and also some movies that were inspired by some famous fashion designer or some person coming from the fashion industry. So let's go. So first movie, well I have to say first it was very difficult for me to choose just five movies for today's video just because I have more than five favorite movies so I think I will do another video about this topic but first movie that I chosen to talk about today is Fifth Element. Um, Fifth Element is the movie coming from 1997 and it was directed by Luc Besson and I think in a visual um, in a visual sense I think you all can recognize it uh, because the costumes for the movie did the, the famous Jean-Paul Gaultier and the reason why I chose in this movie is that even though it's uh, about costumes, it's about SFI and it's a little bit more about avant-garde, I think it's very inspirational even for the today's trends and um, it became um, kind of um, like the movie to, to you, that you have to know about because not only did the famous designers did the costumes for the movie but in the visual sense it's very attractive and very inspirational. The main actress that is um, doing the character of Li Lu is Mila Jovic. Uh, with, she was the famous model at that time when the movie was done so it also brings some attraction to the to the theme of uh, the fashion also in the in the movie. So this is definitely the first movie to to see not only for the attractive story and not just because it's exciting to watch but also to learn about costume design and um, also about the fashion. The second movie that you must see is definitely The Great Gatsby. Uh, the Great Gatsby has two versions, one is coming from the 70s and it's with uh, Mia Faro and the second that I recommend definitely is coming from 2010. Um, why? Well, this movie, there, there are like tons of reasons why I love this movie. I think in 2010, all, well, main fashion trends were definitely inspired by the 20s and that was fun to watch and to see the big um, fashion houses get inspired by some theme that is coming from the past in the modern contemporary way but also because of the again collaboration between the costume designer Catherine Martin and the um, fashion house of Prada which made costumes for this movie and there are many reasons why it is attractive. First, in the visual way the whole movie with the atmosphere of 20s but um, done with the modern twist is inspired by itself for the fashion and also a great costumes and details within the costumes that were made so contemporary but still you can see the inspiration coming from the 20s so this is something that you have to see not only to learn about 20s but also to see how in a good way is done with the contemporary twist within the costumes and making it so modern that you wish to get everything from the movie and just wear it every day. So definitely to see Great Gatsby, well, do it, do the both versions, but um, I prefer when it comes to the costumes, definitely ones coming from the 2010. The third movie is Guess, Ta -na -na -na. Breakfast at Tiffany. Well, 
I think this is not a surprise because I think each fashion designer or fashion stylist would put this movie on the list because this is like something that it's I think one of the lessons when you're you know learning about the fashion they put like okay now do the breakfast at Tiffany something inspired with and actually me as a mentor I have this assignment to doing with my students with a little black dress and there are many again reasons why I love this movie first uh, the movie is talking about um, atmosphere of the 60s which is the lesson by itself then the great costumes done in like phenomenal minimalistical way but still with the contemporary twist coming from Givenchy and Audrey and then the third reason is of course the story that it's inspiring by itself and the character um, and uh, the whole this atmosphere of New York and this uh, Fifth Avenue fashion coming from so there are many reasons why you need to watch this the reason why I personally also love this movie is because um, not only about little black dress but definitely I'm connected with this theme since my career got a you know twist in uh, on uh, going on a higher level when I was competing with a little black dress in London in 2010 and I was definitely getting inspired by this movie and Givenchy and this aesthetic of um, very like minimalistic but unique way representing this kind of a, a piece that it's timeless but still very difficult to handle as a designer so this was kind of a challenge and I was always going back to this movie just to you know to check this aesthetics and everything coming from this movie just to to control my ideas so this is one more reason why I why I like it but it's definitely a lesson that you need to have in your pocket when it comes to the movies so breakfast at Tiffany the fourth movie that I recommend to definitely watch is called The Dressmaker. The Dressmaker is coming from 2050 featuring Kate Winslet as the main actress in the movie. And uh, the reason why I like this movie personally is because it's talking about one of the um, periods in the fashion history that I particularly like, uh, like and it's um, early 50s. And also because the costume did the famous award-winning costume design at Margaret, Margaret Wilson and of course I like the, the the main actress but the costume for the for the main actress were done perfectly like showing really the best of the early 50s fashion and also the story is about real dressmaker which makes it even more interesting for the ones coming for the fashion industry even though the whole story of the movie is more like a thriller but uh, the main actress is a dressmaker so it uh, you know it attracts us from the fashion industry just by the title and also by the actress and also about the period of history so definitely something to to watch because it's done in a really really great way and the final choice would be -da 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 -da, the devil wears prada well, it, I, I guess, again, it's not the surprise, similar to The Breakfast at Tiffany. It's the movie I think everybody saw once or, well, I did a couple of times, not just once. But uh, this is the movie about the fashion magazine and people working in this part of the industry. So it's not only about fashion designers, but also part of the fashion styling, which, is, which makes it more interesting. And I already think you know the main actress, so, well, Anne Hathaway and Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep is um, acting as, well, they say the role was inspired by the fashion uh, editor and tour but the reason why I personally like this movie except the the costumes that are presenting the famous fashion houses and showing the well the good and the bad side of this like fashion designer job and fashion stylist job is I'm I was working for the fashion mag magazine for the couple of years and when I saw this movie well I was always trying to explain myself to other people who are out of the fashion how this works how cruel this can be you know how and I was not working in the Vogue or Elle 
but uh, I was trying to explain to people how it works and then at one moment when I saw this movie I was telling them like go and see Devil Wears Prada just I mean maybe you will better understand why I'm carrying out all these bags why I'm stressed you know and why this like fashion industry is not so glamorous how it looks like but it's more like cruel so the reason why I like this movie is because it's kind of like documentary realistic so it's not like a future it's only just a you know playful movie about the fashion industry but also showing a little bit of cruelty of uh, the the work of the fashion stylists or the people working for the fashion magazine generally i don't want to discourage anybody who wants to work uh, in the fashion magazines because i myself uh, was eight years part of the uh, lifestyle and fashion magazine in the country where i'm coming from and i was doing as an editor and as a stylist so but but this can be a good lesson to be prepared for what is waiting for you and of course if you're passionate as I am about what I'm doing this movie will not discourage you it will just be you know reminder of how it really looks like so Devil Wears Prada definitely something to see so guys I hope you like this video uh, if you want to see more if you want to hear more don't forget to subscribe and also if you have some comments about movies or some suggestions be free to leave comments below share let's share the ideas let's share the positive energy and I will be seeing you uh, very soon bye from me